2009, we were looking ahead to 2015, and we knew when quarters would go, milk price was going to drop, and we couldn't, we couldn't keep going. My name is Johnny Lynch from McCroom County Cork, and we farm a herd of water buffalo here. We brought in the animals in October 2009 with the hoping that we would be able to make cheese and we knew if the cheese didn't go right we could go down the meat route. There was plenty of other cheeses being made from all other milk. Um, water buffaloes are a very healthy animal. The milk is much more healthy. It's more like goat's milk than cow's milk. So you have a much higher yield when it comes to making cheese. So we went to Italy to learn how to make cheese for a couple of weeks. We learned some, but we also have a good cheese maker with us, his name is Sean Ferry. He has 27 or 8 years experience, where I myself wouldn't know anything at all about cheese really. Up to the time I brought in the animals, I didn't even eat cheese. So in 2009, we brought in 21 and a half year olds and we brought in 9 8 month old animals. So the 20 year and a half olds were put in calf. They calf down in 2011. So the first couple of years were very slow. We were seriously thinking of bringing in a milking herd. Thanks be to God we didn't, because you need a couple of years to grow up with these animals and you get to know them and they get to know you. It's definitely much easier now, the ones that are born here, it's easy compared to the ones that we were after bringing in. You have to put electric fence wire around everything because they love scratching. They do break poles. So we actually have to put a wire down along the pole as well. If you want to keep your trees, you have to wire everything. Stubborn, they can open gates like they know what they're doing. So you have to put a chain or you have to put a different type of lock on the gates. But it's something that you just grow with. They don't seem to let out milk as easy for the first week of their milking life. But after a week goes by, they seem to settle down fine. They milk for 250 days a year. In comparison with Frisians, they'd be up 305. So their milking year is much shorter. Their gestation period is 10 months and a week. It's not unusual to have them carry two or three weeks as well. So it's very hard to get a calf a year out of the animals. We milk all year round, so it doesn't make much odds to us if they go 14 or 15 months. Prolapse would be their biggest health issue. Calving is not a big hassle to them at all, but it's prolapse that you have to watch for. Another thing then that people don't think of either, that you can ring the vet if you have a sick cow, but ringing the vet when you have a sick water buffalo, they don't know much more than you do. So they're also learning with us with the last few years. So it's all new as well to them. It didn't seem like a risk at all, switching over, but after a few years, when you look at what we've done, like the risk was huge. Did I think we'd grow at this speed? No way in the world. We're supplying Aldi, Tesco, Duns, Musgraves and a lot of other small places um, but as I say we're still learning every year we think that we have it all. No, no, you'll be learning forever I'd say. So in 2009 the main reason why we switched would be the way this farm could hold the next generation and um, the way there'd be enough money made out of the farm to keep another husband and wife going and that they could make a living out of the land for their kids to come after them again.